An acid is a proton donor. Right, so this is the answer to 3.1. An acid is a proton donor. Now let's look at uh, 3.2. Complete the following equation and indicate the conjugate acid base pairs. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. We have 3.2 HCl plus NH3. Right, so we've just defined an acid as a proton donor, right? A hydrogen donor, so to say. And then a base is a proton acceptor. So when we write that chemical reaction again, we shall see that base accepting a proton. So let's go ahead and complete our reaction. So if the acid uh, donates a proton, we're going to be left with only Cl minus, right? And then if the base accepts a proton, we're going to have NH4 plus Right, so that is what we're talking about when we say that an acid is the proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. But we need to do more than that. We now need to indicate our conjugate acid base pairs. So this is how you do it. So we have HCl here and then after it is reacted, we are left with Cl minus so hcl is the acid and cl minus is our conjugate base right and then uh here uh, nh3 is our base obviously and then nh4 plus will be our conjugate acid right so you need to be able to compute that and then uh, moving to the next question uh 3.3 uh, the pH scale is used to measure how acidic or basic a liquid is. The pH scale varies from 0 to 14. We already know that. Uh, what does the equation say? If the hydrochloric acid solution was prepared by dissolving 0 0.2 grams of HCl in 500 centimeter cube of water, calculate the pH of the solution. So what is pH again? We know that uh, the pH is equals to minus log of H plus, right? Or you can also use the concentration of H3O plus, whatever you get to first. So we need the concentration of H plus in order to calculate the pH, right? Uh, but here with regards to HCl, we know that it is going to give us H plus plus Cl minus, right? So if we find the concentration of HCl, we basically have the concentration of H plus. So how can we find the concentration of HCl? Let's go look at our given information and see how we can move from there. So we are given the mass. It is said to be 0 0.2 grams. We are given the volume. Uh, so we can say that uh, the concentration is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass multiplied by the volume. Right? But if you don't want to use that formula, you can also find the number of moons first by saying the mass divided by the molar mass. But we're just going to go ahead and use this formula so that we can find the concentration in just one step. So the concentration will be close to the mass 0 0.2 divided by the molar mass of each CL that is uh, 36.5 multiplied by the volume which is 500 centimeter cube so that will be 500 divided by a thousand right we have to convert it to uh, decimeter cube and then uh, if you put that in a calculator you're gonna get a concentration of 0 0.012 moles per decimeter Q. So we have the concentration of HCl and consequently the concentration of H plus. So now we can go ahead and say that the pH is equal to minus log of 0 0.012. Right. And then if you put that in your calculator, you're going to get a pH of 1.92, which makes sense. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. So you would expect the pH to be somewhat low right you don't expect a ph of 5 5.5 4 or anything like that 3.4 3.4 uh, the ph value conductivity and reaction rate of acids and bases also indicate how strong or weak the solutions are right that is true compare hydrochloric acid and ethanoic acid by referring to their 
So HCl it is a strong acid, right? It's a strong acid. And then on the other side, ethanoic acid. So we have ethanoic acid. It is a weak acid, right? It is a weak acid. And then let's compare the pH of HCl and ethanoic acid. Obviously, the pH of HCl will be lower than the pH of ethanoic acid, right? So we can say that uh, HCl has a lower pH. It has a lower uh, pH compared to ethanoic acid. And then now 3.4.2 conduct so what is the relationship between the strength of an acid and its conductivity so previously we have agreed that the more h plus uh, an acid produces the stronger it is right but then let's look at h plus this is a hydrogen ion right? and these ions can conduct charge right so the higher the concentration of h plus and then the higher the conductivity the higher the conductivity right so if you're saying that an acid has a lot of h plus ions uh, over the other you basically saying that it has a higher conductivity over the other so between hcl and ethanoic acid hcl produces more h plus ions and as a consequence it has a higher ability to carry charge it conducts better than ethanoic acid right so we can conclude here and say that hcl has higher conductivity higher conductivity why are we saying it has high conductivity it's a stronger acid and as a consequence it produces more h plus ions